Hello beautiful people, it's Davina from London Curls. Today I'm going to show you two really quick hairband styles that you can use to cover up any awkward regrowth once you're growing out your TWA. So let's get started on how I style my hair. So this is my hair at the moment. It's looking lovely at the front as you can see, but at the back, yeah, not so much. So what I do after setting my curls using a gel of some form, this was with Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker and it really sets my curls in place, is I take some coconut oil just to fluff up my hair because I want a little bit of height to these hairstyles, keep raking it through and then I take this lovely silk scarf that I got from H&M. They've actually got a really good range of scarves so I definitely would go in there either through summer, spring, whenever. Every single um, season they always have a good range. But anywho, yeah, tie it at the front really simply and all I do is just tie it into a bow. If you noticed before, I just adjust it as you can see so that it doesn't like bend my ears forward or anything like that. And I've also adjusted it at the back so that it's covering most of that awkward growth at the back. If you've been growing your hair out from a TWA, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's once that really short style that you're used to starts to grow out and as you can see very briefly here it's growing on the nape of the neck and everywhere again and it's just not looking so neat and tidy so it's a really easy way to just cover it up so that was number one very cutesy as you could see however I actually prefer this style a lot lot more and I've been trying it with a lot of different materials and all you do is you just cross the two sides of the material round and bring it back so let me show you a bit slower you bring both sides of the material forward as you can see cross them over and then you pull them back Again, adjust it so that it's wherever you want it to sit. So it's covering that hair at the back. And if you want to show more hair at the front, you can just pull it back like so. And then you bring that material back and you just tuck it in. Now it's important that you tuck it in quite tightly because you want it to stay in place. So I just sit there and make sure that it's comfortable but it's also tight and secure like so. And once I've finished you can adjust how wide you want the material to be and so on. Just make sure that it's all neatly in place. And it's as simple as that really. Now I can just adjust my hair, bring it out a bit more, show a bit more of the length. It's actually grown a lot more than it probably looks, but you know how curly is and shrinkage and all that. Now, if you are concerned that it is going to fall out of place, a really quick way just to make sure that it does remain secure is to take two bobby pins and just place them at the back, just keeping it secure. But I found that I actually don't need to do that most of the time, but it is completely up to you. And it's as simple as that. And it's a really easy way just to, again, make sure that it remains neat and, of course, covers up that hair at the back so enjoy as always please rate comment and subscribe bye